Hello. Hi, Jess. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Good, well, I'm Juliana from Countries Local. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How's your day going? Oh, it's cold. We've got freezing rain or sleet oh. or snow or something here. It doesn't look very nice there either though. No, I'm in Winnipeg and it's kind of the same oh. thing, a little bit of the freezing rain. That makes sense. Yeah, Winnipeg usually has it just a little bit worse than us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so to start, um, can you tell me how your newest single knockoff came to be? Yeah, so I wrote knockoff with um, my producer, Corey Crowder, who's done almost everything that you've probably heard of mine on Canadian Country Radio. Um, but we brought in my friend Jade Eagleson to uh, help us write this one. We kind of wanted to chase like a little bit of a different sound than what I have done previous. And uh, Jade is so good at that honky tonk 90s country sound that we were kind of wanting to try on. So um, it was such a fun day. It was the first time the three of us had written together, but it definitely won't be the last. That's awesome. So as a songwriter on the single, can you tell me where your motivation comes when songwriting and kind of what that process is like for you? Yeah, for me, I always say that for me personally, everybody's different, but songwriting is a skill. Uh, it's not something that I woke up you know, one day and just decided I could do. It was something that I worked really, really hard at. Um, so I've been doing it for several years now. And, you know, the only way you can get better at it is by doing it. So when I write, um, I, I typically come up with like titles or maybe concepts, not so much melodies ahead of time, but I, I like to jot things down, ideas in my phone mm -hmm. and then take them to Nashville and put the blinders on for like a week or two weeks or whatever time I have and just write. Um, so I guess everybody's process is a little bit different, but that's mine. That's how my brain works. Yeah, for sure. So I love the music video for Knock Off and the whole storyline yeah. behind it. Uh, what was the process of creating visuals for that song for you? Well, for us, it usually starts with um, the director and deciding who would do a good job at the vibe of that song. And for this one, we used my good friend, Travis Nesbitt. He's, he does two things really well. He does beautiful um, rock, kind of gritty visuals really beautifully. And he does goofy really well. He does kind of, you know, that kitschy kind of thing. And we didn't want to go exactly to the lyric for this, for these, this video, we wanted to kind of chase something a little bit different and do something a little bit unique and one of a kind. And Travis did it so perfectly. He just had this idea that we wanted to do a lookalike contest, um, just kind of encouraging that you can only be yourself and there's only one of you, no matter how many, you know, people are lined up to look like you, there, there's only one. So, uh, it was, we shot it all in one day and, uh, that's what you see is what we got. Yeah, that's awesome. So how does it feel to be going out on the Map Dot tour? Super exciting. Yeah, it's been a long time coming and uh, I'm glad it's finally here. Mm -hmm. Is this your first tour since lockdown and pandemic? Yeah, kind of. Um, we did a small acoustic run last fall uh, leading up to the CCMAs. But again, it was just a, a small one. It wasn't uh, anything full on. But this is my very first headline tour. So it's extra special to me. Yeah, that's so exciting. And what can fans expect from the tour? Maybe some new songs or um, you're heading out with Tyler Joe Miller. Maybe there will be a collab or anything like that. <laughs> Maybe some of those things will all happen. Who is to say? You'll have to get tickets. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm actually hoping to make it to the Winnipeg show. So Awesome. That would be great. That's yeah. going to be a fun one. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Um, so what's next for you? What are some goals that you have down the road after this tour wraps up and all of that? Well, man, it's hard to think anything past this 
podcast tour right now because it's so <laughs> all-encompassing. I'm so yeah. involved in everything from lighting cues to writing the music, recording, singing, and promoting <laughs> the shows. So it's hard to think past that. But, um, you know, that takes up pretty well the rest of this year, which is crazy to think about um, being that we're just in October right now. So, um, you know, probably get back to writing in 2023 as soon as I possibly can after getting rested up from this tour. But uh it's, that's kind of all I can think of at this current time. Everything I have is going into this tour. Yeah, well, that's great. And like I said, I'm very excited to see the tour. So that'll be good. Thanks. Yeah, well, yeah. those are the questions I have for you. But I really awesome. appreciate you taking some time to chat with me. And I'll see you middle of November. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks, girl. I appreciate your time. Yeah, you too. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.